ain't gonna say nothing, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say you nothing. Another no. episode of I ain't gonna say nothing, but where we talk about some things that's going on in society, where it's on social media or it's in real life. But you know what? We ain't gonna say nothing. So let's get into it. Now I know it's been a minute since we've last since we've last talked to everybody. And sorry for the delay. Just life has been life. In. But I do want to talk about some things that affected me may not affect you but say something about it now we all know that the television king himself of controversy mr jerry springer passed away and it's very sad because he was the one person that i used to love coming home every single day and watching because you never know what type of madness and drama they was going to bring whether it was a transvestite that got pregnant by a midget or a midget that got pregnant by a transvestite it was always something that was definitely happening on the jerry springer shirt now the jerry springer show was very in implemental in um reality tv and well not reality tv but talk show tv because he always brought different types of people from around the world onto his show onto this platform just to talk about everyday life that we never knew was happening but it was happening and he was the type of uh show to where yes he was very concerning but he always had his own little jabs that he would throw in there just to poke fun at what his guest and what the audience member might have been thinking or not thinking i can definitely say that the jerry springer show was very very implemental in trashy tv because without him who knows where we might have who knows where we might be and who knows on uh how things would have played out if it was not for the type of the type of audience the type of drama the type of storylines that the jerry springer did contribute to talk show television in the early and late 90s into the 2000s um and also he like he did transition into judge jerry but that that was bullshit judge jerry was stupid i didn't like it i mean i watched a few shows of it but it's more like i would rather see someone just take a chair and toss it at him rather than he just sit there and you know he tries to be judge and that's another thing i don't get how are these people who are daytime talk show hosts all of a sudden going to become judge like what moral what moral compass or uh or a type of life experience can you say oh i'm the judge of morality and i can judge people on the things they're doing and how they're doing it just it never made sense to me but yet and still it happened it happened they figured it out and some made it work some did it but i will say this as far as the jerry springer show it was really nice to come home at four o'clock every single day after school and watch that bullshit that was going on yes it was funny yes it did have his serious moments but because of that they he was able to spin off when other things happened so with jerry springer we had got the steve wilco show and steve wilco show really dealt more with um the horrific things that our people were doing with other people so it's more like we got the sweet from jerry and then we got the sour from steve even though steve was a little bit more hardcore you know hard nose type of host but we still got it every single day at whenever it came on but i know i will always be a jerry springer friend because jerry springer really really put a sense of do better uh, on the choices that you make um and it's just sad to say that he's gone uh, but his legacy will forever live on so anytime i ever see a video you on something facebook else. on tiktok on instagram you about something, something um that was on the J review show i will always watch it because i kind of kind of grew up with that so i ain't gonna say nothing but jerry springer you are definitely going to be missed man you really are because you really had a huge effect on everybody because you, you had a lot of different storylines but a lot of different a lot of different captivating moments that makes you think like wow there are really people out here just like this that we might not get to see we might not get to deal with but we still we are still willing to make the best of it so i ain't gonna say nothing but jerry you will be missed Till next time, take care of yourself and self. And I ain't gonna say nothing, but 
it's sad to say that a great thing came to an end now i know it's been some time since snowfall went off the air it's been over maybe like two months and like i said i've known i missed some things but like i said life has been lifey but when i did watch snowfall because i watched it from beginning to end from this first season all the way up to the last season i even remember i've been watched uh the fifth season because i missed it completely just completely and i watched everything in its entirety even watching all the episodes and even coming up to the last episode where you just see the the fall of franklin like how how easy is it you have everybody relying on you and the next thing you know nobody's relying on you no more no one cares no one wants to help because when you were trying to help people when you were trying to get out the life nobody wanted to do it because everybody's own greed and own their own um their own selfishness got in the way of what you was trying to do so it just goes to show you no matter what you can't always put faith in the people around you who you think are there for you and it's really sad to see that franklin went from this To this. this it really is because it just shows you no matter what money will change people but money will never change who you think people can be for you you can take care of everybody but when the chips fall and everything is on the table and you see who people really are you start to see that money don't change a damn thing it's just the people have to change with it and sometimes they never do and it's a real damn shame that the downfall now even though this is fictional it's a fictional story okay so it's this is all written it's all made up it still has a little bit of a heart a heart moment to where it's like damn can this really happen can i have the world of the riches of the riches can i have everything at my disposal everything i ever always wanted but the family, the family that I have around me, the closest ones that who are there for me, who are down for me, who make things, who make things go, who make it seem as though that they're there for me. They're going to, they're going to follow what I'm doing because I brought this. Like he said, I built this shit. Brick. I built this shit. Me. Brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. And still that brick by brick got taken down easily all because of people's greed people's own intuitions people want to do their thing because they figure they can find greener pastures somewhere else that the grass is greener on the other side but as franco tried to warn them nobody wants to listen when a person just wants his money and someone takes that from them because they think it's the betterment of them they just want to listen i was lying he's fucking dead i shot him twice i jumped his body hey and Yes, I am ready to initiate the transfer. No, Teddy! Teddy, hey! Hey, Teddy, Teddy! Oh, fuck. Teddy! He's still here! Uh, yeah, 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 the password? The pass Teddy! Say how fuck you want! Hey! Fuck! Fuck! Drop the gun, lady! Drop the gun! want to do shit differently than they thought was and then they thought was necessary so it's a damn shame that franklin our man franklin saying you something from this else. to this it's a real damn shame and i mean i ain't gonna say nothing but sometimes it just be like that you know we all see we all see dudes like this at the liquor store who once was something but now is no, no more at all because they had everything at their disposal but when they want to get out their 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 circle their circle wouldn't let them leave their circle wouldn't let them just have a regular life um and it's it's like damn when you try to go straight when you try to do everything you possibly can everybody's bringing you down now even to transition a little bit we know uh ghost on power he was he was trying to do that straight life to where he didn't want to be in the streets he just wanted to run his club he just wanted to be a family man in so many ways he wanted to just be the straight dude just do everything he was supposed to 
but it just it didn't work out that way it really didn't and like i'm saying on franklin's end man you just saw the downfall where this man had everything he had real estate he had money he had cars he had a beautiful woman you know about to be a father but the moment that money was taken fucker just went mad he didn't give a fuck he just wanted to be like i want my money that's all i want and you can go about whatever you want but when you try to do the nice route when you try to tell people hey just give me what i would need and i'll go about quietly people don't want to act right it's it's almost similar you got to get that act right for people to act right i mean i ain't gonna say nothing but damn frankly you was the man homie fuck happened to you But we know what happened to him. People's greed. People's own greed led led him to this. Just like this. Like I said, even though this is a fictional character, it's still, in a sense, sometimes not always a fictional character. Because we might have seen this person in our everyday life that was down and out and just everything was taken away from him because of other people's own greed and intuition. So I ain't going to say nothing. But damn. Damn, homie. So, people, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode here on YouTube. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and keep it locked here on YouTube on I Ain't Gonna Say Nothing But, as well as Second Look Production. So, I'm Will, and I'll talk to y'all all soon. I ain't gonna say nothing, but I ain't gonna say nothing. But I ain't gonna say nothing. But Welcome to another episode of I ain't gonna say nothing, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing.